Today I thought I'd take you guys kind of on a walkabout while I check my flowers and uh, anything else I can see on the property. Let's go. compared to what it was before but this is what I'm trying to correct here is from a top standing point of view you got these chunks of clay where the grass can't really connect to itself look how apparent that is oh look see even just mowing I can find bigger rocks see see what I mean This place used to just be covered in rocks, but we're slowly working on it. And this is only the second time this corner has ever been mowed. But man, it looks good. It looks happy. It looks like it's ready for a monsoon rain. Got the water sprinkler going, mind you. It is an expensive hobby if you have a lot of property and you want to see it all properly watered. But everybody has their kink in life and mine is happily paying hundred dollar water bills. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pinch my hose off here and drag this puppy across the yard without destroying too many flowers. I like to go back and make sure I haven't crushed anything. This thing's all beaten up and old, but it's, it's good. It's a trooper. <sighs> well, thanks to my boyfriend's pants for letting me use it. I'm going to walk along the pathway here and make sure see how I'm just barely missing these plants with the hose. I don't want to crush anything. I want to give everything the opportunity to grow. Nice and moist. We're starting to get sunflowers. It is um, the end of July, almost. If you just pull and drop them, they can still decompose before you go picking up the whole pile. Oh, we're crushing a few flowers over here. I just lift it up over the whole thing and find another path to lay down my hose. I understand this isn't interesting for everybody in the world, but for those of us who are lucky enough to have a yard and want to maintain it so that when you open up your window there's a nice view outside possibly with a wild animal or two enjoying what you've offered them that can be better therapy for some people than you could possibly know this whole place used to not look like this at all if anything I'll give you a great example now it used to look, see all that high grass, and bushes, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, I intend to leave a, a solid chunk of this. Said this being natural vegetation, I don't want to tear up every single bush in my yard. Um, you do need to leave shelter for some of your uh, more vulnerable uh, your more vulnerable animals. And, um, and if I'm ever in the middle of uh, clearing out a bunch of bushes, if I spot a single lizard uh, scurry under a bush, I will leave that bush for the entire year. I'll leave it for two years. Because um, you don't know if it's made that its permanent home, if it uh, is laying eggs there. Um, it's just best to respect nature and have a nice balance uh, with everything you do. You like 
my uh, gardening gear, by the way. I'm, I'm so protective. I take such good care to not get stabbed by any stickers or, you know, let my legs get scratched up. You know, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got the best gloves in the world called calluses. <laughs> don't follow these instructions. This is me making fun of the fact that I really don't uh, protect myself at all when it comes to gearing up for the outdoors. Then again, I've been doing this like my whole life, so I'm pretty fine with it.